When you think of conversions, your heart can drop. Not today. Let's do this problem together. We have 4.2 grams per centimeter squared that we need to change to milligrams per millimeter squared. First, we need to identify what conversion factors will help us to do that. You can look up in any conversion chart and find that 1 gram equals 1000 milligrams. Okay? So this will help us to change from grams to milligrams, right? So another conversion factor like this, 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeters. But we need square centimeters and square millimeters. Your conversion chart may also have this conversion factor. 1 centimeter squared equals 100 millimeters squared. But you may not have this uh, conversion factor, but we can change this one to this. So all you do is raise to the second power. So 1 centimeter squared will be 1 square centimeter and then 10 squared it means 10 times 10 so you will have 100 millimeters squared now we are ready to go then we are going to change centimeters squared to millimeters squared so we have two conversion factors so let's go the first step tells us to write the original measurement as a fraction so we are going to write 4.2 grams over what we have in front of centimeter squared? 1 over 1 centimeter squared times. We are ready to multiply by a conversion factor. So first we will change grams to milligrams. What conversion factor will help us? This one. We need to plug in this conversion factor in such a way that our original units cancel out. First, we are trying to get rid of grams, right? So where we will put grams right here? We have grams in the numerator on top. So I will put one gram here on the bottom in the denominator. So my original units cancel out. And I will put 1,000 milligrams in the numerator. So 1,000 milligrams in the numerator. You see, my units, my original units cancelled out and what I'm left with? Milligrams per centimeter squared. Don't stop. We are going to repeat the step in order to get rid of centimeters squared and change it to millimeters squared. So we will continue to multiply by another conversion factor, right? Because we have the step. Repeat this step. So this is our conversion factor, right? Like this one. So we are going to plug it in in such a way to get rid of centimeters squared. So where do we have centimeters squared? Right here in the denominator. To cancel them out, where we are going to put them? If we put them, you see, we take this conversion factor and put it here. If we put centimeters squared in the denominator, right, then they will multiply. We want them to cancel out. So we will put one centimeter squared in the numerator, right? So the original units cancel out. You see? Centimeters squared are gone, and we will have 100 millimeters squared in the denominator. Let's look. Look what we've got. Look at the units. We have milligrams per millimeter squared. So we got what we need to, right? And we are ready to do the math. So we are going to multiply the numbers in the numerators, then we are going to multiply the numbers in the denominators, and then we are going to simplify. So 4.2 times 1,000 times 1. We will have 4,200 milligrams over, let's multiply the numbers in the denominator, 1 times 1 times 100. Easy. Will be 100 what? millimeters squared. Now let's simplify, right? Because this bar means division. These zeros will go away, right? So we will have 42 milligrams per what? Per one millimeter squared, right? So it is 42 milligrams per millimeter squared.
squared. You see, we did two times, right? Two times, multiplying by two conversion factors. So 4.2 grams per centimeter squared equals 42 milligrams per millimeter squared. Is this helpful? Practice again, look how we did it, and if you need to convert more and more, you just keep multiplying the fractions in a row until you get to your desired units. Check out my other videos on conversions, and I hope this is helpful. I wish you success, and I will see you next time.